Hey guys, Merry Monday or Tuesday or whichever day you are watching this. So I had this build idea to make a double castle grid build. But it did not work the way I hoped. So this is not a build guide video or anything, it's just a build idea. And maybe it has some kind of potential. The castle grid, if you don't know, has been buffed and the cooldown is way better now. Previously castle grid uh, could only be triggered 2 times per second and now it can be triggered over 6 times per second. And if you invest in the cooldown recovery speed, you can make it even better. And by the way, if you are new, you can only link castle on grid with an attack and a spell. A spell cannot proc another spell because it would uh, cause infinite loop. And there is only one item that can proc an attack on attack. I think there's only one. Anyway, Namahu's Flame Axe. 20% chance to trigger level 16 Molten Burst on melee hit. Molten Burst is an attack just like uh, Molten Strike. So in fact you can link cast on crit inside the axe and proc a spell. And for my main skill to proc everything else, I was planning on using Molten Strike. Yes, very high IQ. Because Molten Strike is a projectile and projectiles cannot proc Namahu's Flame Axe. And that is why now I'm using Static Strike. If I could get enough attack speed then Cyclone would be better. But but if you cannot get enough attack speed, then Static Strike can proc more things. With 3 stacks, Static Strike can proc beams around 3.25 times per second. And when you account for your own hits, it goes over 6 triggers per second. So this is almost reaching cast and crit limit. Of course that is not accounting for crit chance and hit chance. So in practice you would need way more attacks. But now back to Namahu's Flame. So it triggers Molten Burst, which throws 3 projectiles or 7 with GMP. So I thought if those 7 projectiles hit enemies in sequence, it could proc cast and grid pretty well and that was my mistake. Turns out all projectiles usually hit all enemies at once, not leaving any window for the cooldown for the cast and crit. So on one trigger from Molten Burst I usually proc only one spell. And since you only have 20% chance to proc Molten Burst on melee hit and then you account for critical strike, accuracy and the fact that most of the time all of the projectiles hit enemies at once, it ends up being pretty bad idea. Actually it works better if you suck at multiple spells inside the axe with cast and crit because each spell for cast and crit has its own cooldown. Which means even if all projectiles hit enemies at once, you can still proc multiple spells. And to see better how frequently I proc a second cast and crit from uh, Namahu's Flame Axe, I have Blade Vortex linked inside it and Armageddon Brand since it doesn't need to be proc too many times to be effective. And I think the highest Blade Vortex stacks I saw was only 4. Which means for Namahu's Flame Axe to be useful and effective, I would need way more procs, way more crit chance and probably more accuracy. The axe itself has pretty bad base crit, it does have decent attacks per second and I am Cyan Assassin and I do have pure talent for extra crit chance and I would like to get a body armor with a uh, crit chance for attacks and obviously do a bunch more improvements because well this is level 75 only and unfortunately I am still using tabla so I am kind of squishy. I actually can tank pretty much anything as long as I don't get one shotted since my second ascendancy is a slayer so I do get overleech and I do have Wallace mark on hit ring but I got tired of playing this build because I just kept getting one shotted even in tier 3 maps. Also while mapping is pretty decent and especially looks really cool with the Celestial Herald effect and the Siege Firestorm MTX. But when you start fighting Syndicate and a bunch of stuff starts proccing, you can't see shit. It's a nice looking shit but you just can't see anything. Oh is that a projectile that is about to one shot me? Too bad I can't see it. Also single target I think, well Namahu's Flame is just not that great for this and single target is definitely lacking. Obviously the more I would improve it the, the better it would become but it just leveling isn't that pleasant with this. And even if the end result of this build would be pretty decent, overall I would still not recommend it just because of how painful the leveling process is. It probably could be improved with some other setups. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do Uber Lab with only 4.2 thousand life. And don't get me wrong, I think that cast on crit on itself is really viable now. And I can only imagine cast on crit firestorm and killing your FPS. Oh so good. Obviously with a proper setup, maybe even using Cosmic Malice, which is an obvious choice for cast and crit builds now. Cosmic Malice builds were good before and now that cast and crit got buff, it's going to become really good. Anyway, so I'm going to be improving this build, but I also took a break from it and started Essence Drain build, which is already in maps and I wanted to make Essence Drain smoother. As you probably know, the main issue with Essence Drain is that you need to cast two things to do damage. And now we got new mod, which you can craft on rare weapons. Trigger socket a spell when you use a skill, which has 4 second cooldown. Socket contagion inside that weapon and you would automatically cast it when you cast Essence Drain. Sadly, I think the cooldown is pretty harsh and it's really hard to make 
make it smoother. I even spent all of my currency trying to craft cooldown recovery speed boots and I finally did it. I crafted really nice boots so I'm gonna try and improve that as well. And I can reuse those boots on this castle grid build. So I'm finally getting the right items for my experiments. And that's gonna be it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.